All right, good morning, everyone. It's the AM Icebreaker for Monday, March 12th. We're a week out from the Game Developers Conference, which means I will be flying down to San Francisco on Sunday, and I'll be presenting my talk on Wednesday. And I'm actually really excited about this talk. Um, it, it's kind of a cool little, I guess, restarting the circle for me. You know, like a couple of years ago, I, I decided that uh, I kind of wanted to shift focus away from the tech industry and get into personal training and fitness. And so it's kind of cool for me to go back to a tech industry conference, you know, with a lot of my old friends, peers, and sort of get to talk about this other thing that I've wor been working on. I mean, it's a li little bit of a, I mean, obviously it, it's a little nerve wracking, you know, it's kind of a sort of, a, I guess, a, I guess a, a debutante if that's the right, right term, but, uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited and uh, I'm, I'm more excited also to go back and, you know, see what they've been up to, you know, there's a, you know, go to the technical art boot camp, for example, see what people have been doing, reconnect with that community, at least a, a little bit. And, um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Actually, speaking of, um, speaking of communities is, uh, kind of fostering positive communities now it's really interesting it's really interesting because uh excuse me i was um you know i i, I just joined a, a discord server that uh, one of the guys who who's uh streaming tutorials i've been following ha has set up and uh, they're great tutorials i'll actually I'll, I'll post a link down um in the comments obviously and and i would actually advise you to go check out this guy's videos <clears throat> even if you're not interested in streaming just to see how he presents himself um that, that was kind of one of the big reasons that i decided to follow him and eventually ended up donating to his, his Patreon was because he, he was very positive. He was very focused. He was very on message. It's kind of kind of similar to why I am, you know, when I was looking for to study uh, Filipino martial arts, I hooked up with Kali Center. Uh, you know, when I was watching Paul Ingram's videos, he he was having fun and he still does. You watch his videos. It's like it's like, wow, you can tell this guy is having fun doing this, but he's also legit. You know, he's not like the the dark, hard, gritty martial arts. He's like, hey, guys, I'm I'm so and so badass and I'm going to. I'm gonna show you how to kick ass and arm and fuck all these other guys and blah blah blah. You know, it's and and you know, and and that that just kind of like that's the that's the kind of thing that pulls me in, and I think it kind of pulls a lot of people in. You know, and so what I'm so what I'm gonna say is, if you're building, if you're part of a community, especially if you're kind of at the upper tier, if you're a leader in that community, make it the kind of community you want it to be. And and I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna suggest that it be a positive community. That be positive and welcoming and and accepting. And you know you you can do that just by you know little things. You know think about like how you phrase things. Think about like especially online. Think about like you know think about how you how you structure your statements. How you I don't know use use emojis or whatever. I mean, but you no, know, there, there's there's a lot of things, right? And you know, I think the big thing is a like staying on topic and b not attacking people. You know that's why I love some of the communities I'm in, and that's kind of what I try to foster too, you know, like, like my, my Facebook pages are a great example. Like I have no problem deleting comments that I think are off topic or non-productive or, you know, or not, or, or, or they just come off wrong. You know I mean? I don't, I don't know people like say, Oh, well it's, it's, it's internet and, and you can't really tell what the nuance is like, well, you, you, you can't and you can't. I mean, I think, I think it's, it's interesting, right? Because I think we've all been online enough that, there are patterns that you can kind of see that kind of emerge. I mean, the way, the way people say things like, for example, I'll, I'll use me as an example. Um, recently I posted something on a, on the Onnit tribe group and, uh, and the response I got from the guy was something like, yeah, I really appreciate it. But the question was, and, and which is basically saying, shut the fuck up. Like I didn't ask for you, but I'm going to try and appear positive. It's like, all right, well, you know, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the passive aggressiveness. I appreciate it. But so, so you guys get what I'm saying. People do stuff like that. And I, I think you, especially if you're a community leader, you have to be smart enough to know that, to, to, to have that filter. And so, so, so yeah, you know, like, it, it, like I said, if you're in that position, if you're starting your own community, if you're, if you're building your own community, think about what you want that community to be and then actively make it that way. You know, if, if, if you see somebody doing something that is not, that's not conducive to kind of, you know, to the you know, to the tenants that you want and, the, and and it doesn't create the positive energy that you want to create, then, you know, cut it off, cut it out. And speaking of, um, speaking of, of creating conversations, um, I, I asked a question in my live Q and A yesterday and I'll put a link to that. I'm not going to say what it is because I want people to go watch it. And I'm going to put up a, a poll on my, on coach Seth Gibson on Facebook. And I want folks to kind of give me some examples of uh give me some idea of what they'd like to hear about next sunday uh this coming sunday because we talked a little bit about uh, i've mentioned how i'm gonna kind of start having this longer conversation about things and so i kicked that off sunday and i'd like people to kind of tell me what they'd like to hear next because i can go a bunch of different directions with it so i'm gonna obviously link to all that and um yeah you guys uh so that's that have a good week and we'll be talking cheers